Starting at the T-shaped cowling, work clockwise around the logic board to disconnect 20 connectors. Remove the two T3 screws and T-shaped cowling. Then, use a black stick to disconnect the lid angle sensor and touch bar connectors. At the left input-output connector, remove the two T3 screws and cowling. Disconnect the I.O. connector. Peel the flex cable tab and lift the locking lever to disconnect the tri-mic connector. Remove the two T3 screws and cowling at the touch bar display connector. Disconnect it. Peel the flex cable tab and lift the locking lever to disconnect the left backlight cable. Then, peel the flex cable from the logic board. At the left speaker cable, lift the flex cable tab, open the locking lever, and disconnect the cable. Lift the locking lever and disconnect the left fan cable. Remove the two T3 screws and cowling from the trackpad connector. Disconnect it. We're halfway there. Loosen the Mylar tape from the keyboard connector. Open the locking lever and disconnect it. Loosen the adhesive under the flex cable. Lift the locking lever and disconnect the right speaker cable. Lift the locking lever and disconnect the right fan cable. Then, raise the locking lever to disconnect the right backlight connector. At the right I.O. connector, remove the two T3 screws and cowling to disconnect it. Remove the two T3 screws and cowling at the Touch ID board connector. Use a black stick to disconnect the audio jack connector, and then the Touch ID connector under it. At the top edge of the board, remove four T3 screws from the two cowlings for the embedded display port or EDP cable. Disconnect it. And finally, Use the antenna tool to disconnect the three wireless antenna cable connectors. Now that all cables are disconnected, remove the T5 antenna ground screw. At the top corners of the heatsink, remove the two T8 screws. The one next to the Touch ID connector is a super screw, a screw within a screw. Remove six T5 logic board screws. Remove three T3 screws near the bottom of the board. Loosen the adhesive at the fans for the two thermal ducts. Leave them on the heatsink. Tilt up the board and hold the edges to support it. Gradually set aside cables as you remove the logic board from the top case. Tilt the logic board into the top case. Use your fingers or a black stick to slide the wireless antenna cables and ground screw clip into place. Use a black stick to clear cables from the edges of the board so none are pinched. With the board settled in the top case, Count all the cables to make sure they are near their connectors and not caught under the board. Although it will be reconnected during final reassembly, add the battery flex cable to your count. Adjust the board to align screw holes. Reinstall the 7T5 screws, 
three T3 screws, and two T8 screws. Working in a counterclockwise direction, reconnect the cables and reinstall their cowlings and screws. At the last cowling that is the T-shaped cowling, make sure that its slot fits the tab at the corner of the board. Reinstall the T-shaped cowling and its two T3 screws. Refer to the service guide for final reassembly and calibration instructions.